KZWA. Welcome to the Daily Dose, September 2nd. What's going on? It's your Melatone Hart. And TC. And this is KZWA's podcast where we feature trending topics and pop culture, you know, clickable moments and stories. So what do we got going on today, TC? You know, this is Labor Day weekend, right? It is? Yeah. What is Labor Day for? I've never understood. It's for all the women that are pregnant and have, were in labor for a long time. That's exactly what it is. Is it really? So smart. I it did not know that, that's man. Smart. Some of you know, dilate 10 centimeters. Push it out, girl. Stop taking days off work and all that kind of stuff. Really? You don't need to be in labor more than a half an hour. Get get back to work. Ignore him. Cut the umbilical cord and get back on your shift, baby. <laughs> what? Too much labor out there. Oh, my God. Somebody, you need to get back home so he can get it. Too much labor. No. Push it out. Let's get back to work. Somebody put my Jodeci tape on. What are you talking about? Talking about labor. No. Holding up no. my flow. You push out a baby and, and then go right back to work the next I'll day. I push a baby out the car, out my car, out the car seat. That's why I push a baby no, out. No, out your sensitive spot. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> See, that the way my body's set up, it ain't set up like that. <laughs> so what's your plans for this weekend? My plans for this weekend? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe make myself a tuna sandwich. Watch the Badgers beat Alabama. Watch college football. Of course, that's my plans for this weekend. Lame. I'm going to New Orleans and be with my parents. Oh, New Orleans, such a hostile city. That's where I'm from. Yeah. I ain't no Somebody choice. break another levy. What? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna ignore that because I almost <laughs> punched you in the face. I'm just kidding. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> Survive Katrina. Just break the levy where you are. What? I just want you to be in the water. Why? I want to watch CNN and then be like, look at this thug. She's stealing and she's stealing stuff. Oh, my gosh. Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate just you. Tell me. I just want to see you try to swim. I can't swim. I know. No, like, you know how you push somebody in the pool and you're like, oh, you're just going to make it. Like, you just miraculously just uh, make it after that. No, I got pushed in the pool and almost drowned. I'd like to see someone push you in, like, the shallow end and, like, watch you go. And I'd be freaking out. <laughs> until you stand up. I would I would really enjoy that. Why? Matter of fact, I'd watch, I'd watch that. I'd you want to see me struggle in life. Yeah, I do. What? That, I, no, I just want to, I just like it when people can't swim. I think it's pretty funny. So, who taught you how to swim? Uh, my mother's boyfriend, who was a Navy SEAL, who just picked me up and threw me in the water a few times. I swallowed a bunch of water, thought I was drowning, he took me out, threw me back in. My mother said, toughen up. Oh, no. I love Kelly. I would have died, and then my mom would have been going to my funeral. Nah, Kelly wasn't going to let me die. Shout out, Kelly. Yeah, that's what you think. What happened to Kelly? <laughs> what happened to R. Kelly? No, Kelly. <laughs> now I know what you was doing to my mama, too, Kelly. You ain't my damn uncle. Oh, uh, What? <laughs> You ain't my uncle. You taught me how to swim, but I, I that's Uncle Kelly. I ain't no Uncle Kelly. You Whatever. Mean, you, you in the room with my mama. That ain't no Uncle Kelly. Happy birthday to Salma Hayek. You know who that is? Yeah, the Mexican actress. She's about 49. I see the crow's feet on her face, but she's a cutie pie. The crow's feet? <laughs> what? She's, she's gorgeous. Yeah, for vintage vagina, she's hot. What? <laughs> that is so messed up. I love, you know, I like an antique every once in a while. No, I love her. She's such a good actress. Happy Really? Birthday, you girl. think she's a good actress? I really do. Oh. I really Woo! I good. really enjoy watching her. She's pretty. <laughs> good actress. She's pretty. Whatever. Okay, so did you hear about Rachel Dolezal having another child? Oh, yeah. She's going to be in labor. Back, <laughs> back in the news. Labor Day is coming up for you, girl. <laughs> That's so funny. Ain't she having a black baby? I think so. Yeah, somebody hitting the cervix. She... <laughs> What brother she? What brother she with now? I wouldn't be surprised. No, they said that. <laughs> they said the race is unknown of the baby, so we don't know right. because we still don't know if she's black or white. I, <laughs> if the baby gonna be black. I'm sure the daddy's Ray Rice. What? I'm sure Ray Rice is the daddy. He liked to hit that. Really? In an elevator. You know what? That was messed up. I still remember that video like it was yesterday. I so feel like do I. Me. So do I. I wish I could have put some Looney Tunes music to it. A little Bugs Bunny music. That would have made it much better. It was boring the way they showed it. Boring? We whooped her and dragged out Put some Bugs Bugs Bunny be whooping people? No, no, it's funny? It's a cartoon. This is real life. Hey, well, you know, hey, art imitates life. No. Anyways. Yo, did you hear about McDonald's? No. You're going to like this. Starting October 6th, McDonald's is serving breakfast all day long. You lying. That's right. So you we can get the pot. Okay, bye guys. Because we need to go. <laughs> that McGriddle is calling you at 3 o'clock. Yes. 7 o'clock at night. I want hash browns all day. <laughs> hash browns is my favorite. I can eat that all day long, I swear. Oh my gosh. I'm so. I think I'm Focus. Gonna cry. I think I'm going to cry. 
Focus. <laughs> no, I'm serious. This focus. Is October 6th? October 6th. Starting October 6th. Man, ugh, why so late in the year? I need that to happen tomorrow. Had them hash browns that, that delicious. Uh, orange juice. <laughs> a sausage McGriddle. Moving on. <laughs> Did you hear about the debate over whether or not Idris Elba is too street to be the next Bond? Stringer Bell is too street. Uh, I don't know. He's they said really, AKA too black. I think that's what the code word street means. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Idris has always been really suave and debonair. That's what I'm so, saying. I mean, uh, and James Bond has always been a character or a man women love. Yeah. And women love Idris. I just think it's they don't like it because they don't want a black James Bond. But because I don't think he's street. I mean, even in The Wire, where where he became famous as Stringer Bell, mm-hmm. he was the least street of everybody on The Wire. He was the most sophisticated. He wanted to go to college and you know buy housing and stuff like that and buy homes. He wanted to get into real estate. Mm-hmm. He's always been kind of a suave character. Yeah, actor. that's what I got from him. But, but Anthony Horowitz, Horowitz yeah. said it's not a color issue. He was like, of course, he's it, a it never is. Actor, but he's just too. You're too hood for Bond. Yeah. He, it'll be something. Oh, he's too tall. His voice is too deep. Basically. Van Glorious. It'll be something like that. Van Glorious. Yeah. He listens to too much rap to be James Bond. It'll be something That's like right. that. That's about right. He gets a fade too often to be James Bond. So, did you hear about Punk BT? You know, K. Michelle's episode was funny. That was kind of funny. And I keep missing it. I, got I keep it. missing it. I, got I have a, to go I got watch a, it. I got a, a, a downloaded copy for you. you can watch. It's pretty funny. I don't. I got a downloaded copy. I, my DVR. I saved I'm it on my it on, DVR. Yeah, I'm watching on yours. DVR. I bring it to my house. I have a DVR version. So, yeah. But what about Punk? It's yeah, good. they funny. said um, Michael B. Jordan and Rita Ora's were really funny. They said Rita Ora is a gangster. Really? It says she just flipped out and was like straight hood on him. I think Rita Ora is Russian, so they they can get a little wild. With. Is she Russian? I think she's Russian. I didn't know that. Russian. I think. Well, it's her accent, so maybe that's what it is that I I never caught because I only hear her singing. I never heard her really like talking. You remember the show Living Single? Yeah. And when I was in the dorms, we used to argue all the time about which one of the ladies was the best looking. Was it Regine? Was it Khadija? Was it Maxine? Or was it, because what was she from, Minnesota, the goofy one? The one was with Overton? It was the four ladies. I can't even remember their faces. Maxine was always the best looking to me. Maxine Shaw, the one with the dreads. Okay. Well, she's on the internet today. There's a new picture of her on Instagram today, and she looks like she's getting younger. So, I want to say everybody in the dorms, I was right, because Kim Fields looks like a ghost, like a white walker from Game of Thrones. All right. Khadijah is chasing more women than your average brother at the club. And what's her name? The girl from Minnesota has gotten very large. She went from elegant to elephant, and she is very large. Elegant to elephant? Yes. Really? (laughs) That's what elephants do? Try one more time. All I know is she went to Babar style. She is Dumbo style now. And That is so mean. I don't mean it's the truth. People would prefer a beautiful lie than an ugly truth. But I'm here for the truth, ladies and gentlemen. The ugly, like, (laughs) big elephant girl truth. (gasps) And elephants don't even make that sound. (laughs) What is that? What do they make? Like a (laughs) goat. Like, what are you doing? (laughs) I don't know what sound an elephant makes. Come on, you need to go back (laughs) to uh, elementary school when they gave you those little books with the sounds in it. Oh, so you went to one of them remedial schools where they give you the books. <laughs> they don't give you words. They give you, like, you got to pick the animal with the sound. Sound. <laughs> sound. Shout out to Kermit for getting a new, a new, fresher piece of bacon. You know what? You got I to can't. love that bacon. I can't deal. Kermit defrauds. Kermit upgrade. his girl. Upgrade you. Let me see you. Upgrade you. Remember your song by Beyonce? Kermit well, said I upgrade I know that song, but I'm mad at Kermit. Why, why are all y'all girls mad at Kermit? Because she stood by him. She been loyal to him. They've been together for a long time. She beat him repeatedly. It don't matter. <laughs> okay. It don't matter. They've been together too long to let this hey, you, woman you, get in between like, him. Hey, like then she I, got her little dark eyeliner hey, and stuff all that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Go ahead and hey, sit down, fellas, Denise. Fellas. D nice. Fellas. Same brand, newer model. It is life. You know, I used to drive a Ford Taurus. I still like Ford Taurus. I wouldn't mind driving the 2016 Taurus, but I don't want the 97 Taurus I used to have. I'm done with that one. 
Even though it brought you to A and B and C and D, hey. and you was going there where you need to go, hey. it was good on gas. I'm trying to go to. This. I'm trying to go to E, D, and F right now with the new Taurus. So you're just gonna ditch your old one, forget the old one. Hey, I can find mem- memories in the corner of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can see his face when he's saying that. Memories. Stop doing that hand gesture. Sweet memories. <laughs> Piggy is a memory. No, you know what? I hope she come through and be like, what you said, Denise? What you trying to do? And come see, for her. This is the problem. Get, check up, Piggy. The other check woman up. ain't the problem. No. You're the problem, Piggy. Denise knew they'd been together for that long. Denise knew. She knew. She should have said, you know what? I know you've been with Piggy. I'm going to just let y'all be together because I, I don't want to get in between this. And she'd have been like, all right, girl, thank you. But no, she want to slide through them DMs and just be all in there. <laughs> hey, Kermit, See, I'm Denise. I'm getting D-Nice. personal to TC. <laughs> all Denise knows is that it's green, it's got a job, and it goes back and forth and it works. And That's- he hops from person to person. I wouldn't date him. Yeah, he- Kermit. I don't the, like you no the, more. Man, the lady's really hating on Kermit. Look, sorry, I'm not sorry. Kermit, keep doing your thing. Denise a dime piece, oh man. Piggy was a dime piece. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Daily Dose. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, KZWA. Log on, KZWAFM.com, KZWA1049. We're on Instagram and all that and a whole lot more. You ain't got no weak trivia for me today? No, you said you had trivia for me. All right. If money is tight, over half of people surveyed said this would be the first thing they would cut off or get rid of. What's the first thing people would cut off if their money got tight, TC? TV. Like cable? You're actually close. Actually, yeah. Cable television is the first thing. Really? It's the number one thing. Because that's the first thing I cut off is my bills. Yeah. Why, why are you cut off your like, cable? I got Netflix now. I don't need cable. Yeah. Netflix and YouTube. Netflix and YouTube has killed it. This has been yeah. The Daily Dose. Check us out we're on Stitcher. We're on iTunes. Spreaker. We're on Spreaker. We're on TuneIn. And anywhere else you catch podcasts. It's been KZWA. It's The Daily Dose. Latone. And TC. Out. Kermit, keep doing your thing. Girl. Don't do it, Kermit.